בוקר טוב לאנה. איזה פרצוף חמוד. We're gonna look, we're gonna take the right here and maybe we'll have more luck. Okay, and we're here. Yay! Karim Natsach and Eira. I found the parking. Karim Natsach. I did. Isn't this amazing? In Tel Aviv it's like finding a treasure box. Okay, now we need to find the restaurant. Okay, so this is the menu, J17. We decided to take the tofu cutlet. It comes with seaweed in a chrime style. Uh, you also get to choose uh, one edition. So we took the pireh. And we also took toy in a cajon with a mushroom. And this one we took with the basmati rice. You also get to get, since it's their business meal, you get either a salad or a soup plus a, a drink. So we took in one of them a salad, in one of them a soup. It's a lentil soup, and for drink we took cola. Here we have some side dish, and this is the lentil soup that Hen wanted to try. The soup was delicious. It was thick and it had a strong lentil flavor, plus it had this warm, homey feeling. So I'm gonna give it 8.7. Here we got the rest of the dishes. The first one was the chrime, and the second one was the soy roast in a Cajun sauce. It came along with a side salad. And now for the food review. First of all, I want to start and say, the whole vibe of this restaurant is really homey. The presentation is really simple, and it kind of feels like sitting at your mom's table as she serves you food. Unfortunately, taste-wise, the chrime cutlet was really bland. I felt they were missing the fish taste that was supposed to come from the seaweed. Maybe a bit more flavor and a bigger amount of seaweed could have fixed it. What I did like about this dish was the root pireh. I think it's made from Jerusalem potatoes and it was amazing. As for the soy roast, I feel like the same advice should be applied here. Even though a dish is simple, I don't think it should be bland and a bit more seasoning could definitely improve it. Taste-wise, it kind of reminds me of unseasoned cumin. As for the side salad, I think they match the all simplicity vibe of the restaurant. They weren't really seasoned and I could only feel the olive oil. But I don't really mind since I always welcome any addition of vegetable to my dish. Okay, so we also order a vegan cheesecake for dessert. And if you're a member of Vegan Active, you get a free nothing. Okay, so this is the vegan cheesecake. It looks like a pudding. Ooh, look what a mess he made. It's like a toddler. Here we go. And this is the vegan knafe. Okay, and here is the dessert review. Unfortunately for Hen, I actually like the vegan cheesecake. He really wants me to not like it, so he can eat it all, but I found it delicious. It was refreshing, and the cheese had a slight blueberry taste, and I also like the texture, so I'm gonna give it 8.5. And now the knafe. Unfortunately, it wasn't good. The cheese was gooey, and it was way too sweet, and to be honest, it was one of the least successful knafe I ever tasted, so I'm gonna give it a 5.
Okay, so for a little side video, guys, uh, we're here at Ramat Gan. The reason why we're here, we come to pick up some vegan prilini. Uh, I got for my mom's birthday. Yeah! Uh, she had some extra. They didn't really, as you see, made it, so she gave it to us. Yeah, yes. And here I have the box with 18 prilini. And more unicorns. So adorable. Just here below, the precious prilini. So here we have some of the extra prilins. Uh, we're gonna try them. One for Ken. One for Karin. It's not a halva. It has like a nutty taste. A bit of sesame? Maybe it is the halva? Yeah, it's like yeah, very, it is. very raw halva. Nice. Okay, let's try the next one. Now we're gonna try the caramel tofu. We're gonna try the halva, this half moon shape. Okay, now for the halva. Yeah, this one a really strong uh, sesame taste. Nice, not that sweet. And the last one is this one. I'm not sure which flavor it's this. It's like a white chocolate. Also have like a red, I think it's cranberries, I'm not sure. What's in your head? Oh, it's rose. Mm. It has rose flavor. Mm. Okay, I'm not sure everybody's gonna like this flavor. It's nice, I like the white chocolate taste. But handy. With them. Um... This was my least favorite, but maybe because it has such a strong uh, flowery taste. to Hulon. We're gonna go to a place called Exit. It's not fully vegan but we saw they have a uh, plenty of sweet dessert that we can choose. Uh, so yeah. So we're in Hulon right now and we're here. Exit. Okay, so we just visited an Exit and it was really a sad visit I gotta say. Uh, they run out of everything. Everything we had wanted a waffle, they had no dough to make it. He said it's like gonna take like 40 minutes. I'm not sure why waiting until a customer come and then tell them it's gonna wait until 40 minutes. He actually wait until we come to tell to ask us if we want uh, him to take it out so we can wait. And they didn't add any shake. Some guy asked if they have fruits for the yogurt. He said no. So I don't know, the whole experience there it felt like I'm not sure why they left it open basically run out of all material. He also gave us like a weird uh, answer because it's a uh, Thursday. I have no idea what it means. Uh, but so far I'm gonna give it a really bad review. I'm sorry because uh, I don't think that's how you're supposed to run an ice cream store. You don't have any of the main stuff you sell them. Anyway, instead... Pizza burger! Pizza <laughs> burger! Yo, 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 pizza burger now. We're here, Domino's Pizza, Hulon. 
let's go. Hey, so is the vegan burger pizza? Can the reveal? Do 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 do. So here is the Domino's vegan pizza burger. It came along with a plant-based meat, a vegan cheese from Chisley, some pickles, onion, tomato, and another important ingredient that was supposed to be there but they forgot was the iron sauce that gave this whole pizza the burger taste. We also got french fries and coke since we ordered it under one of their deals. First of all, I want to mention the worker there was quite unknowledgeable about the pizza, if it's vegan or vegetarian, he wasn't sure what's in the plant-based meat, and only after I asked to see the package, I saw it's completely vegan and it have no eggs in it, so just if you wonder. Second, I must say, the hygiene in this specific restaurant was really low. We saw worker coming out of the bathroom without washing their hands, or just coming back from their cigarette break and going straight to the kitchen. So very unpleasant to see. And now for the pizza review. I feel like I should split this review to two parts since uh, at first we got the pizza without the island sauce. The pizza without the sauce felt really simple and dry. The plant-based meat didn't add much taste to it on its own, so it didn't remind me much of a burger. So without the sauce, I give it a try. The pizza with the sauce tastes completely different. The island sauce really gave it this burgery like feeling, but it was too little too late since we only noticed it was missing on the last two slices of our pizza. Something that is relevant to improve on all the Domino's pizza is regarding the cheese. I think the brand they use is a bit too sticky, and moving to mashu mashu vegan cheese could really improve it. Another point to improve is regarding the pickles. When the pickles are baked along with the pizza, they become dry and lose all of their sourness. Putting them last after the pizza is already baked could maintain their flavor and freshness and improve the pizza a whole lot. That all said, I'm gonna give the Domino's Pizza Burger a 7. Okay, so here I have some uh, chocolate from Vegans. We order it from uh, Machsane Ativonut. And now we're gonna try it. It's a choco bar in a strawberry flavor. It's gonna look like marzipan. I'm sorry, the car is shaking, I can't really read. Anyway, uh, it's a with uh, 40 strawberry pieces, so we're gonna try it now. Okay, so that's how it looks. Gotta say, it's a really strong uh, strawberry flavor coming out. And now we're gonna try it. Really soft. It's not really like a biscuit inside, so it's not crunchy at all. I have a delicate taste of this strawberry. Right? It's nice, I miss it like the crunch. I like when I'm eating a chocolate bar, it has a bit of crunch, you know, when it has a biscuit inside. But it's nice. I'm gonna give it 6.5.